Today is the start of Children's Mental Health Week, which is now in its sixth year. The week was set up by the amazing children's mental health charity Place to Be, and it helps shine a spotlight on the importance of mental health in children and young people. For us at Educating Matters, it means throughout the week we've been invited by companies to deliver talks to working parents and carers on the topic of emotions. Exploring how parents can respond to their children or teens when they're having a meltdown. This actually means parents listening in a way that will enable their child or teen to learn how to manage and articulate their emotions. The goal is to raise emotionally intelligent adults who can really handle their feelings and develop resilience to manage life's ups and downs no matter what might come their way. Around half of all lifetime mental health problems start by the mid-teens and three quarters by the mid-twenties. The most recent survey of the mental health of children and young people in England found that one in 10 school children have at least one mental health disorder and one in 20 met the criteria for two or more. Mental health disorders in five to 15 year olds have increased in the last 20 years. One in four people in the UK will experience a mental health issue at some point in their life. And mental health is the single largest cause of disability in the UK, more than cancer and cardiovascular disease. The NHS have set out plans to put more funding into mental health services for children and the Department of Education are introducing guidance and support from schools. However, parents play an absolutely vitally important role in their child's mental health. A young child's attachment to their parent, parenting styles, feeling supported and strong connected relationships are all associated with having a positive impact on a child's social and emotional well-being. This is where Educating Matters can help, give parents those positive parenting skills to help children know their feelings, thoughts and opinions are being heard and understood. Throughout this week, before going off to Divilla Talks, I'm going to try and share some practical tools for parents to understand more about emotions. See you again tomorrow. Thank you.